Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. When we last left off, we were looking for Auriel's bow and uh, yesterday I went on a little adventure because the builders were here and I decided to grind some levels. I didn't actually get very far in grinding levels because I started playing Project Zomboid and god damn is that game fun. So, let's go and find Auriel's bow. Did we? Yes, I did actually get one level up. Um, let's get some more... Let's get some more Magicka. There we go. Definitely going to be useful. Uh, also, hmm, what should we get for a skill perk? i got to crack this video out as quick as I can uh, before the uh, builders get here. There was something the other day that I was thinking, ah, in heavy armor. Half damage from falling when wearing heavy armor. I'm thinking of getting that. Um... Just because I kept falling yesterday and dying. So, hmm, that seems to me like a good idea. Another thing that I might get is Daedric. Or Dragon, actually. Dragon Forging. Just because... Hmm, I don't know what was better, to be honest. I'm saying Dragon is probably better, considering... Um, Hmm. The only reason I'm thinking of this is because dragon armor, not necessarily the armor, might not get the armor, I'm not sure. I was never 100% into dragon armor, but what I have been thinking is perhaps getting the dragon arrows. So let's just get that. Oh, <laughs> okay, we can't. We need level 100. Uh, okay, maybe on our next level up. I guess we could probably keep the perk, to be honest. We don't have to spend it now. Um, mm, what is there in pickpocket? This is one thing we don't really... We haven't really looked through this. Silently harm enemies by placing poisons in their pockets. Pickpocketing is 50% easy. Carrying capacity increased by 100%. Percent. Well, a hundred pounds. Okay. That is bloody useful. Might actually get that. I might go around pickpocketing off screen. Um, to try and increase our level. Okay, fair enough. In that case, let's just go to archery. And, oh, we can't quite get that. That's unfortunate. All that. Recover twice as many arrows from dead body. That might be useful. Um, yeah, because eventually we're going to start getting decent, well, say decent, better arrows off uh, our opponents. And decent arrows are relatively hard to come by. Um, mm, dual wielding, backwards power attack. Again, I don't really care about these backward attacks and things. Uh, hack and slash. What was critical charge? You can do a one-handed power attack. Whilst, yeah, sprinting. Not interested. Hmm. Maybe we could start leveling up block, I guess. Yeah, why not? I might make a shield. Um... What is that? Blocking's more effect. Arrows that hit the shield do no damage. Blocking with a shield reduces incoming f Oh. It would move faster with a shield raised. Yeah, let's get a shield. Um, my usual play style with this game... Sprinting with a shield raised knocks down most targets. Bashing does 5% more damage. Power bash... Yeah, my um, usual playstyle is a sword and a shield, or magic and a shield anyway, so, yeah, fair enough, let's uh, let's get that. Enchanting has been legendary. alteration, restoration, actually restoration is useful. Uh, wards recharge your magicka when hit with spells, we don't really ever use wards to be honest. All spells are more effective against the undead. Hmm. Once a day heals 250 points automatically if you fall below 10% health. Yes. No, we can't afford it. 
Okay, all the cool stuff we can't actually afford. Alright, well, let's go to destruction then. And... Um... Adept. Why not? So we're going to have to start leveling up Adept anyway. Okay, so... Oh, what we got here? Oh, it's just sort of like, what spells do I have equipped? I have no idea. Uh, let's go for... Um... Frostbite. Come on, Frostbite. Let's go to work. Actually, oops. We might as well take these things souls. Because why the bloody hell not? And what am I doing? My god, I don't know. Uh, we want soul stealer. Yeah, extremely tired. Um, I've been going to sleep at like half past two because I can't. I find it. I struggle immensely to go to sleep earlier than that. I've always been a night owl. And the builders have been arriving at half past eight in the morning. Uh, <laughs> half past eight in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, starting to. Starting to feel the effects of that. Hello, I was wondering when you was going to turn up. Uh, they're dead. By by the serene. Okay, it's fine. She can uh, she can go do that. Now, where's Oriel's bow? We did have it on the map here somewhere. Darkfall Cave. Well, let's go to Darkfall Cave. I'm not sure if that's where we need to go now, because I'm sure there was two points of reference on the map, but. This should be easier to get to. Come on, Serena. Let's get this done. Hello. Huh? Hello, who are you chaps? Who are you attacking? Oh, you're attacking these guys. Well, fair enough. Let's join in. Uh, Frostbite, come on, buddy. I don't think you're going to be killing my Nord friends. Not happening, I'm afraid. There we are. Oh, we're getting bounties. Of course we are. God damn it. Why are we getting bounties? I thought we were allowed to kill these guys. Damn it. Can you stop killing these people? Eventually, we are going to um, overtake these guys. Now, we need some more power in our weapon. Yeah, eventually we will... Go to war. Ah, you're healing yourselves. Nice trick. Oh, buddies. God damn it. It looks like these guys are kind of no match for the stinking elves, unfortunately. It's kind of a shame how that went. Oh, they all died. Well, let's move faster. That was barely worth us getting involved, really, considering everybody died. Time between shouts is reduced by 20%. Not bad. You guys have anything of worth? Yes, uh, I know, Serena. I know. Your armor is not even worth anything, really. Mace is. Take the mace. Yes, you just literally told me that. Like, less. Who said. Oh, yes him because he's dead um glass stuff isn't even really worth that much i mean we'll take it anyway i quite like uh, glass armor well now we have quite a big bounty on our hands hopefully uh, it's not enough to make the guards murder us on sight we should be able to pay our way we will kick the stinking elves oh my god look at that that looks gorgeous. We will kick the stinking elves out of Skyrim when we uh, fight in the Civil War. Racist. Look, elves have no place in Skyrim. I mean, I guess we can leave them here as long as they're going to play nice, shut up and do what us Nords say. Not that I'm technically a Nord, but still. I do what the Nords say. We're in their land. I'm an Imperial. I should be scum. Did you do what the elf said in Morrowind? No, but they're stinking elves, and they always called me Outlander. It's because you were. 
Yeah, but they make you feel like an outlander. It's not like they welcome you into the, your uh, their noble land and make you feel welcome like the Nords do. Nords, all they care about is drinking tankards of mead and praying to Talos. And elves, elves, on the other hand, and the Imperials, we're going to lock me head off for no reason. So, there. Ooh, what have we got here? Ah! Oh, we're against spiders. Okay, okay. We can handle a spider or ten. We've got a lot of stuff in this quick bar again. Uh, and Soul Stealer needs a soul. Wow, I've never really looked at the spiders' faces in this. They look menacing as hell. They look really cool. Um, right. Black Soul Gem. Good night. Uh, I guess we'll take the Frostbite Venom. I mean, no real reason not to, I suppose. And the eggs. We can make some tasty, tasty potions out of spider eggs. And that leads nowhere. Oh, okay. Cool. This area is extremely dark. Like, really dark. Uh, something's not right here. What gave that away? Uh, no, honestly, I'm curious. What gave that away? Moon. There's lots of this uh, moon ore. It's interesting. Okay, so where are we going? Is it a leap of faith into the water? Looks like it. Yeah, I guess it is. Leap of faith into the water. Geronimo! Oh, bit of a current. All right, let's ride this. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, shh. Oh. Hey, you're swimming wrong, Lid uh, Serena. Fair enough. Right, I'll take these mushrooms. Who's there? Probably spiders. That would be my guess. It's, it's pretty much reliably been spiders so far. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's you. Hello. What are you doing up there? Frostbite spider resisted paralyze. Now, was that because he was dead? Probably. Hard to tell with these guys. Ooh, egg sack. Mmm, delicious egg sacks. Ew. Nope, can't rob any of it. What? Where did you come from? Behind us, probably. Or the ceiling. They do like to slyly creep up on you. Ah, more. The more the merrier. I have lots of soul gems that need filling. I get the feeling that we probably shouldn't be using one-handed anymore. Just because we fully leveled that up. So, let's... I'm trying to think what we could use. You know, we could go back to using magic, I suppose. Um, the only problem, I guess, with that is the sheer magicka cost. Which actually now isn't too bad. At least it shouldn't be too bad now, because we've brought that skill. Right, come on you, let's keep pushing. Uh, we want uh, candlelight on the other, other hand. There we go. Hello. Oh, looks like someone was camping here. Interesting, cure poison, glowing mushrooms, gold, cure disease. Yeah, ooh, thinking of cure diseasing. Do I... Ooh, steel bolts. No, we don't want steel bolts. We've kind of outgrown steel bolts. Um, do we still have vampire disease? Why would anyone want to set up camp here? We may never know, Serena. We may never know. Why would anyone want to stay here indeed? Actually, we can stay here. Yes, let's get 12 hours sleep. That way, uh, we can gain experience faster. It's only a 10% bonus. Actually, I don't even think it's 10% bonus. I think it's 5% bonus. And then if you're well rested, it's... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Let's just double check that. Because if it's a 5% bonus, it's not really worth it. Um, 
Da da da. Rested. Yeah, all skills improve 5% faster for 8 hours. 5% is kind of... Well, I suppose 5% is 5%, but barely seems worth it, to be honest. Oh, wow. Um, I, say, I guess that's not the way we're supposed to be going. And, yeah, I apologize if this is dark. Trust me, this is really dark for me. I can barely see two feet in front of me, even with this bloody light spell. Unnaturally dark here. Okay, some moss. Plenty of mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. Ah. More eggs. Ah, this is just kind of brought us full circle. Darkfall Cave. Okay, so we've taken a wrong turn. Figures. But how do we get back? This place is... Oh, God. Really is like a maze here. Bloody hell. Serena, I hope you're drawing a map. Which I suppose is fairly redundant, considering we have a magical GPS map that's constantly updated. Ah. Oh, ah, this is where we've got to go. A Breton. Darkfall cave note. All right. Let's have a little look, see what these guys were up to. Uh, oh, no, nope. books. Uh, see, quest I, who the hell wants a bone mold formula? Ah, is that? Ah, I can't remember. We check the quest log. Okay, sister, I know that you're uh, come find me, but it'll be too late. What the fuck was that? Someone just fell off my PC, but there's nothing on my PC. Okay. Uh, whatever. Um, if, you, uh, if you find this letter, get out of this forsaken cave as soon as possible. We were forced to think that we could live so close to such creatures and live, live peacefully. Well... Yes, obviously. I should have uh, headed back to camp with you after we placed the torches down here. I thought these trolls would be different. What? Okay, we got a crazy here. Um, that they would somehow understand that we didn't want to hurt them. They're trolls. I now, uh, I'm now cornered and it's only a matter of time before one of the trolls decides to finish me off. I hope it's a quick death. Farewell, my dear sister. Well, hard to feel sorry for you. To be honest, you're a stupid ass. Now, ooh. Well, at least if we're fighting trolls and we have the correct spells readied. Trolly, 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 trolly. Eh, you don't scare me, trolls. We've killed more than a few. This cave is really cool, but so freaking dark, man. Even these mushrooms aren't helping light the way, really. There we go. These are mushrooms that used to be really common. We used to have loads of these. But, well, I guess we don't really explore the caves. We haven't done for a while. But that's okay. Hey, this looks like a trolley area. I see one. You do? See ah. Hey, troll. I'm not going to wait for you to get the drop on me. Why did that spell not fire? Cool, guys. Let's get this done. Yep, trolls are weak to fire, which is great. Wow, he's regenerating quickly. We still don't really have enough mana to... Um, let's try and get a less hungry mana uh, spell. Let's go for destruction. We're using fireball, which is actually an adept spell. So, that's an apprentice spell. Let's go back to fireball. Might actually be easier to use. 
Although, we should really be um, past this by now. But, it is what it is. We need a lot more man mana uh, magicka. Come on, Mr. Troll. But then, also, we haven't really leveled our spells up. Oh, yeah. We haven't got the extra damage and stuff like that, so... Maybe that might be something we start focusing on. Sorry, Serena. Kind of. Alright, let's get the troll guts. Troll fat and troll guts. Okay. Uh, give our manager... Uh, manager? Um, yes, yes. We will give our manager a chance to recharge. Oh. Well, there's what's well, left of your friend, I guess. Yeah. Lovely. That's what happens when you try and uh, live next to trolls. Kind of, um... Well, most denizens of Tamria would know how stupid that is. I keep hearing a troll. I'm getting ready to attack, but it's her. With her bloody undead troll. Leave, leave the dead alone, Serena. Seriously. It's unholy. Hello? Come forward. You have nothing to... Hello. Knight Paladin. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Auriel. Hello. Uh, this cave is a temple to Auriel? Auriel, Auriel, Halkosh, Akatosh. So many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. Oh, Snow Elves. Ah, Snow Elves. This guy, this guy is a Falmer. You know those weird twisted mutant creatures? But he is one of the few left that isn't twisted and mutated. So yes, yes, this is quite interesting. Snow Elves, you're a Falmer. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Yeah. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. The Betrayed. I imagine you know why we're here. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? Quite. But first, I must have your assistance. Mm, seems fair. What type of um, assistance do you need? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. Uh, kill your brother? Why? The kinship between us is gone. Okay. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. I he see. Betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Auriel would allow this to happen. What exactly did the Betrayed do? They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. Okay. Uh, didn't you fight back? The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. Yeah, they fair enough. Everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. Uh, you don't know if he's alive. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Hmm. Have you tried getting uh, into the inner sanctum? Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Auriel. Okay. And an assault on the betrayed guarding the inner sanctum would only end with my death. Way Shrine? Yes. Let me show you. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, buddy. Open it up. Well, this structure not really. Was a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates ah. were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's right. The basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the Way Shrine's center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. Okay. His initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, He'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum 
would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. I see. Just to end up dumping it out? Makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and play Mario's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. Fair enough. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first okay. end of Dark Lord Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. How many more Way Shrines are there? There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Right. Uh, these caves must be massive. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. Yeah. Before I send you on your way, you'll need the initiates you are. Okay. Uh, so I need to fill this at each Way Shrine. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. Right. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin as if you've been enlightened. I see. I'll be off then. <sighs> this may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. All right. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe That water journey. looks amazing behind them. All right, Just what can I ask you? I expected as much. Uh, who were your people? We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. I see. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. There it is. It appears the Nords won. In a manner of speaking. We had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves. Yes. With extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us. But demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. Hmm. Everyone can possibly have agreed to that. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement. And even some that sought alternate alliances. Uh -huh. When it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. Ah. What turned your people into the betrayed? I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Okay. not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. Huh. Why weren't the Snow Elves here affected? The Chantry is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarves' offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. Serena, what are you doing? Serena, I should say. Is that why you had retained your sight? Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the dwarves and the Nords. I see. And ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. Yes, you mean the betrayed? Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assume that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the inner sanctum. Yeah. Uh, there are others here like you? Vertha and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. Oh. Okay, well, we kind of already know... Um, oh, we don't know that one. They're ghosts of the Snow Elf priests that tended the Way Shrines before being slaughtered by the Betrayed. I see. In the of Oriel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. Okay. Even in death, they have to work. <laughs> Saps. Good. They should be able to help us. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. Ah. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the inner sanctum. Oh. Okay. Right. Well, I'll be off then. <sighs> Quite. Well, here we go, I guess. Now, I remember that I didn't really enjoy this area that much. Um, it's quite similar to the last place you went. It wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. Yes. Soothing, actually. I feel a little warmer now. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Um, yeah, this is kind of an odd 
place, and it's quite long and confused. Ooh, they're cool. Uh, quite long and confusing. Uh, for oh shit. Ah, chorus hunter. Well, oh, let's fry it. Yes, this spell is very weak. Very weak indeed. All right. Well, we, I've been poisoned. This little chorus hunter is kicking my ass. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, we have this. Oh, we got ash yams. Yes, I did collect a few of these. See how pointless this food is. Absolutely pointless. Uh, ooh, drop that. Um, eat the mud crab legs. Why not? Don't want raw beef or raw hawker. Uh, back to the rotten bag of salmon meat. Well, needs must. Come on, Mr. Chorus. Take your medicine. Yeah. These spells aren't always firing, which is kind of odd. Right, guys. I'm going to leave it here. Um, just because I don't want the builders to turn up whilst I'm recording this. So, uh, thanks for watching. And when we come back, well, I guess we've got to survive Darkfall's Passage. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.